What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of... I don't need to show you behind me. The sign's back there. It still says Gun Daddy. But we're back. We're back with the KM Tactical Glock. And uh, we're going to do some stuff to it today. Um, now, I know if you guys saw my range day video, this thing was having some some trouble cycling rounds. Um, not really cycling, but I was getting a lot of light uh, strikes. Um, you know, I do see a lot of people have issues with KM Tactical. Um, you know, it's, it's no doubt there's forums all over Reddit about, you know, KM Tactical and how some of their stuff's good. Some of their stuff's all right. Um, I talked to them. I was about to buy a couple of new things for it. And somebody, a customer service at KM Tactical, KM Tactical told me that, uh, I didn't put enough rounds through it yet. So I guess we're going to keep putting rounds through it, but I'm going to put some other stuff on it today. We're going to deck it out a little bit. We're going to make it look a little, you know, a little bit more Mona Lisa. You know what I mean? A little bit more starry night. You know what I'm talking about? Um, but before we get into that, don't forget to like and fucking subscribe to this video, guys. Like This channel is for the people. Okay, for you guys. Not sponsored by anybody yet. I may have a discount code or two for you guys. Don't forget to check out Close Quarter Carries as well. Close Quarters Carry. God, I'm always pluralizing the wrong freaking word in that. Close Quarters Carry. Go ahead and type in uh, at uh, checkout in the coupon area, TGD10, 10% 10 off of your order. Um, they got all kinds of crazy cool holsters. You know, you guys know what's up. But I am not sponsored yet. So, you know, this is all funded by yours truly, the daddy, the gun daddy. So, you know, when I got money, that's when I deck stuff out. So I guess without further ado, let's just get right into it. I'll give you a little quick parts list real quick. We're going with a Terran Tactical Mag Extension plus four. We got a uh, KM Tactical little cover plate. And then uh, from McGill's Glock store, we got some anodized precision pins and slide locks and slide stops and all those goodies. Um, I don't know, so let's do this shit. Okay, so obviously you're gonna need some things for this. You're gonna need a little, you know, a little punch. Uh, you need your little, your mag tool. Um, I mean, you don't necessarily need the mag tool, uh, but it's nice to have. Um, I don't, I've completely ran out of Loctite. You are, you, you definitely should use Loctite. I'd use blue, because I mean, obviously you want this thing to eventually to come off, but I'd use blue Loctite on it, something I gotta get. So today we're just gonna, we're just gonna run through it real fast, install it, and then I'll, I'll go back and put some Loctite on it, no big whoop. But I think that's the first thing we're gonna do. I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna slap this uh, little cover plate on first, since that's the quickest easiest little guy so that just slides on there and i appreciate cam tactical for sending me the um the wrong cover plate but that's okay the skeletonized one is cool i will take it so that just slides right in there okay you want to put these little guys in there okay one here, one here. And grab your Allen. Do you know? I don't. I just say, be careful. Don't, don't, don't go cross thread nothing. You know. Be easy. Be easy on the girl. You know. Um. Pretty unfortunate about all the reviews on cam tactical stuff to tell you the truth um yeah i think one of the one of the main things that everybody says is on those forums is man i really wish i would have seen this before i purchased it's like i get it it happens but i mean they're cheap and they're not like not the worst like there's nothing like 
like specifically like like totally wrong with this company but you know, it would be nice if things worked as they were supposed to fresh out of the box you know am i right so let's, yeah let's go ahead and make that sure that's even then we'll snug those down that's good for now let's go ahead get that mag out of there there's nothing in that mag okay Go ahead and get that slide off there now since we don't need that anymore for right now. Put that to the side. Pop this right here. I say let's move on to the mag. Okay, mag's pretty easy. Push that down. See, there's a little hole right there. And that's why this little tool is a handy dandy little guy. I like these things, man. Pop that out in your slide. And remember, you're going to want to catch this because. There is some tension in there. All right, so we're gonna pop that out. Put this mag to the side along with this little base pad. We need that, okay? We need that guy right there. So we're gonna take our new fancy, fancy giant spring from Terran Tactical. We're gonna pop this guy off of here and put that to the side as well. Pop this on. Ooh, pops right on there, very easy. Grab our mag, slide that back in there, okay? Do that, we need our new base plate. And you just do your best. Oh yeah, hold on, It'll probably help if I push this down. Yeah, there's a little locking pin right here, so you're gonna wanna push that down. Bub. Excuse me. Put that back in there. And then you're just gonna try to shove. You're gonna shove her as far as you can, hard as you can in there. You wanna make sure it lines up, get all the springs and stuff in there, but once you get this little lip over, you're usually in business. Now I did this once before already with my other Terran Tactical Mag extension. It's it's kind of a bitch, but it's not, not that bad. Once you get it where it needs to go. See, sometimes it's easier if you just do this though and you Shove the spring all the way down in there. First. Oh my God, if I can, my pudgy fingers, if I can freaking get it. And then you just kind of use the back of it, right? And then you slide it around up. Ow, that was my finger. It didn't feel good. Okay. That hurt. So anyways, that's in there now. Should be good, all right. Now we're gonna push this guy right back up there. Now it says on Terran Tactical's uh, website, I'm pretty sure, I didn't know this when I first got this mag extension. Um, it says that this is already locked tight. This, this little locking bolt right here, it's like a you know, it kind of like locks this in place, keeps a nice pressure on it. Um, they say not to even mess with it. It says you got a chance of stripping it out. Just don't even mess with it, yada, yada, yada. So, um, yeah, we're going to leave it. I tightened my other one, and I think I did strip it out, but it's tight. And I don't plan on ever taking it off, so whatever. Um, that's done, though. So now we're going to put that over there. Okay, I don't need that anymore. I don't need this. Get this shisa out of here. Um... And now we are going to move on to the pins, all right? Now, this isn't like a daunting thing. I know it seems like it is, but it's not bad at all. It, it's really not too bad. You just kind of got to go for it. <clears throat> and that's what we're going to do. Now, I already put an extended slide stop in this, uh, but we're still going to take it out and because we got these fancy pantsy blue ones, you know? So let me take these out. Now these are, like I said, this is from McGill's Glock store. Lock and block. Trigger pin, okay. And then you got your fancy little slide lock right there. And it also, it's gonna come with a Gen 3 uh, trigger housing pin as well. I think I already put that away somewhere. 
um, but it also is gonna come with the uh, Gen 4 short trigger housing pin and a long, okay? Boom, right there. So let's keep those. <clears throat> those are there. So let's just get into it, all right? And first, we are gonna do the locking block pin. Now this is all, like I said, this is all pretty simple stuff. It's not hard. Um, you know, the newer the Glock you have, the uh, the harder these pins are going to be to get out, you know. So just, you know, keep that in mind. We're going to pull these out. We're going to put that on there. Right there next to that guy. Okay. Pop this other one out. This other big boy. Oh yeah, I forgot. That's why, because I'm stupid. You gotta give this a wiggle. Yeah, I'm dumb. So you give that a wiggle, and then that pops right out of there. Okay, so that's my bad. I'm stupid. So when that just slides out, put that next to the new one. <clears throat> okay. Now, we want to take this guy out the block, okay? So where's my little guy right here? Push up on that, and that should slide right out of there. Boom. That right there, so you guys can see. Now that that's out of there, this is what the next thing we got to take out. Okay. Got yeah, right here. All right. Now there's a little. If you guys can see, you see this little rail right here. You're gonna push down on that. Push down on that so this guy moves now and you can try to get it out of there. Okay, it's not too bad. It's kind of a, it's just kind of a, like a tricky thing. You gotta use your, hopefully you got a little bit of nail that you can use to feed that out of there. Now be careful, cause this thing is, that little rail I was talking about, that's a spring. So when you're pulling it out, kind of try to, like you don't want it flying out of there, at least I don't, I don't want to lose it. So boom, very easily came right out of there. Right there. I'm gonna get my mat all dirty because all this stuff is very oily, but that's okay. That's all white. Now, I'm sure if you guys have ordered this stuff already, um, you've watched the videos on McGill's uh, Glock Store website, but there's a little, little shelf here, a little notch, okay? That needs to go this way. It needs to go facing you. This notch needs to face you, okay? So that's pretty easy though. We're, we're gonna rock this, we're gonna pop this right here. So go ahead and put some pressure back on that guy. Okay, we're just gonna slide this, this new precision, new precision one in here. It's just kinda, you just kinda gotta mess with it. It's kind of, there we go. Okay, once you get it in there, should be in the sweet spot. Should have nice, oh yeah, you got the, the tension on it from the spring. That's in there, that one's good. Okay, all right, and then now, I'm just gonna go back at this. We're gonna put the block back in. Okay, that just slides right in there, pops right in there. All right, now just remember, you do have to do this a certain way. So we wanna start off with this guy first, the small one. Okay, because remember, this spring pressure is because of this. This sits right on top of that, okay? So we're gonna put this one in first. Right now. Make sure you wanna get it in where it's supposed to sit. Just make sure it's even. I want to make sure it looks nice and even. Now I kind of want to... Yeah, that's good. Push it back just a little bit. Ooh, ow. That didn't feel good. 
that with my fingy. Okay, so just push that in where it needs to be. Just kind of flat right there. That's the money spot right there, okay. That's good. Okay, now we wanna put this guy in. All right, now it's got its own little slot, so it just goes right in there. I can get it in there. Okay. Alright, and then we're going to take that big old joint one more time. Big joint. There it goes. Alright. <coughs> Miss Goosey, now that that's in there, okay, we got one more to do. One more little guy. Trigger housing pin, boys and girls. So, I don't know about you guys. I guess I want to, I guess we're gonna put the short one in there, maybe? I don't know. We're just gonna pop this one out. I don't think that anything is gonna go flying anywhere, but. Pop that out. Sure, I mean, what's the long one look like? Let's put that short one in there. I don't like the way that looks. Turn out. Look at that short boy. Put that in there. Flush it up. Make sure it's nice and flush. Looking nice. Looks money. Okay. What do you guys think, man? I think we're pretty much done. That was a nice, quick job. Nice and easy. You know what I should do, though? I should slap a little oil on those rails. Nothing too crazy, just a little bit, you know what I mean? All right. Come on, baby girl. There she goes. All right. Seems good. Let's throw that mag in there. Woo! What do we think about that? What do you think about that, ladies and gentlemen? Man. That is nice, y'all. Man. Of course, I got that PL Valkyrie Turbo on there. Can't go wrong with that old light. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what any of these other gun tubers say. I don't know. I don't drop cinder blocks on my guns and stuff like that. So I don't know. Unrealistic tests will get you unrealistic results. But that's just my opinion. I like Olight. I think they uh, are a great company, especially with the stuff they do um, for charity work. I mean, they have products all over their site right now with um, that go straight to... 100% uh, profits go straight to Hurricane Relief for uh, Helene and Milton. Is that what it was? It was something with M. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, that's it for this one. Let's, uh, I don't know, let's go back to that chubby guy who likes to put his face all over the camera, right? Somebody's going to have to tell that dude to quit calling me fucking chubby, okay? I don't know who the guy is that keeps putting all these parts on these guns, but he keeps calling me, uh, calling me names like chubby and fat and stuff. Whatever. I don't know, what do you guys think though? What do you guys think of it, man? Got all those good blue goodies on it. Gives it a little bit, gives it a little bit more flair. Of course, you can't go wrong to, to, to do your guns up, you know? Do them up, make them nice, you know? The spring pressure on that fucking slide stop is no joke, dude. Woo! But it's nice that extended. If you guys know Glocks, you know those those stock 
um, slide stock levers are garbaggio, dude. I'm not a fan of them. I cranked that up a little bit. Things a little too big. Yeah, it's too much. Too much, man. Right there. Right there. No? It's all right. That'll do. I don't know. You guys tell me. What do you guys think about it? Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video, comment. I really love when you guys comment, man. I like talking to you guys. I like, I like hearing your opinions. Um, I don't know. You guys tell me. Don't forget to go check out Close Quarters Carry. Use that TGD10, get you 10% off. Um, those guys got holsters out the fucking, there's so much, and they are an official, um, uh, I don't know how you would say it, but they, they, they make all kinds of holsters for all kinds of weapon lights, including pretty much every O-light you could think of. Um, they got Cordura wraps, all kinds of badass prints, um, and the owner Josh is awesome and he was just in the middle of one of those hurricanes so go support buy local um, don't forget to like share subscribe you know and uh, this has been another episode boys and girls of gun daddy your neighborhood gun daddy okay tell me what you think about the blue it's not one of my favorite colors, but it looks nice, right?